This video tutorial is meant to describe the new feature in ADAPT PTRC version 2016 related to base shear reinforcement for beams and one-way slabs. And this is applicable to both ADAPT PT and also ADAPT RC. In this example we have a 35-foot uh, span T-beam and the loading on the T-beam is shown. It's uh, 20 pounds per square foot of dead load and superimposed dead load. 150 pounds per square foot of live load. So if we uh, navigate, either navigate using the wizard by selecting next or we can also go to criteria, base reinforcement. We're going to first just select no for base reinforcement and we'll go ahead and we will um, design the beam and this in this case this is a post tension beam so we're using uh, one way shear requirements for PT beams so in the recycler screen we'll just accept what the program has calculated for the force and the profile we'll select exit and note that we're using the ACI um, 318 code version 2014 so we have our solution. We're now going to select the report generator to review the results for the shear. So we'll select under compact report, shear reinforcement. I'll create a report and I'll just override an existing report. The report will open up in Microsoft Word and this is going to give us essentially a solution for one-way shear uh, that is, uh, uh, let's say, compatible with previous versions of the software. We have, in this case, we're using number four stirrups, two legs um, is the assumption. So we have our required inches squared per foot, and then we have our spacing. And we can see we need minimum spacing at the first section, and then we actually get into calculated um, spacing requirements for the next three or four sections, and we get back to minimum and then we get into a situation where our um, ratio is less than 0.5 so we know we need no shears near or no uh, stirrups near the middle of the beam and then it's symmetric on the opposite side so this just gives us an idea of what is actually required in the beam um, now if we go back and I'll leave that report open I'll close the report generator and I'll go back into PT input under the criteria we're going to select base non-prestressed reinforcement. I'll select yes to open the table for input. And you can see I've input stirrups. We also have the ability to input flexural base reinforcement. Select stirrups. The first end location means that the stirrups will start at the far left end because my x1 over L ratio is zero. The second end location is um, the far end x1 over L is two or I'm sorry, one. If you have varying spacings along the length of a beam that you want to enter, you can enter multiple items here and adjust the X1 and X2 over L values for your beam uh, input, for the shear input. The bar size we've set to four, two legs, and we can see that the number equals either the number of isolated bars for flexural reinforcement or the number of shear legs for shear reinforcement. The spacing is 18 inches. The, the top and bottom placement and cover don't apply uh, obviously for um, shear reinforcing. Once we've entered our base reinforcement, uh, reinforcement we'll go ahead and we'll resolve the model. And these are the same design values in the recycler screen. Again we'll exit the recycler screen and in so doing we can go back to the report generator I'll go back and um, produce the shear report and this will be a shear report now with base reinforcing and we can now see that the report changes now we have uh, a new column which becomes essentially active and the new column at each of the stations will tell us whether or not the base reinforcement is okay if it satisfies the demand for reinforcing or if it's not sufficient. If it's not sufficient the program will report the demand in excess of what's available by base reinforcement 
and it will produce the spacing required for that particular excessive demand and this becomes our new report and we can see we have sections where we have not sufficient okay the spacing is shown as zero because the base reinforcement spacing of 18 inches controls no additional shear reinforcement is required if you have a dash in the base this means that no rebar is required at all so um, this is the same as the previous report and also new to the output is this note that states base stirrups flagged is okay satisfy the requirements additional reinforcement is not needed base stirrups flagged as NS are not sufficient and additional stirrups are reported again in this table if you have any questions on use of this new feature please contact adapt support and you can reach us at support at adaptsoft.com thank you